What's up, y'all? It's Phil James. Today's Thursday, November 23rd. It's 2017. It is Thanksgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving to all of you out there. But, as you can see, of course I have to hit this off right. Because most people don't really get what this holiday is. And all the tragedy this holiday has caused Native Americans. So, if you think about it. Back in the 1600s, when the oppressed pilgrims came here and landed on Plymouth Rock and decided to farm the land with the natives and then slaughter them and steal land, there was a procl- or there was a declaration written on how to celebrate and everything because of which, you know, this article has quite a bit of knowledge and good info in it so i highly recommend reading through it i'll leave a link you already know but how to be less ignorant on thanksgiving figured i'd show this for a lot of the americans that just don't get it my subscribers you guys you seem to be pretty clever pretty bright people so i'm sure you guys already know but still i I learned quite a bit off this article so i highly recommend reading through it A day seen by many Americans as a day of celebration, a day for family, a day for giving thanks, is perceived by many Native Native Americans as a day filled with ignorance, a day filled with anger, and a day filled with of of mourning. Damn. All right. So here, let's read the truth. While millions of Americans prepare this week to get into the holiday spirit, beginning with Thanksgiving, hate living in the country with all these country redneck dudes that drive these trucks that are so damn loud. While millions of Americans prepare this week to get into the holiday spirit, beginning with Thanksgiving, how many are prepared to view the day through an accurate lens? While too many Americans, the holiday serves as a reminder to give thanks it is seen as a day of mourning by countless others the truth is european migrants brutally murdered native americans stole their lands and continue to do so today if you don't believe that they do so today just look back at the you know the clean water and standing rock north dakota you know being protesting the pipeline due to oil spills and wanting to continue to have clean water. You know, there was a a young kid shot just in Wisconsin. He was a Native Native American boy. He was shot in Wisconsin, I do believe, by a sheriff's department. You know, you have all kinds of this happening still. Excessive force was used this year in Standing Rock, North Dakota, and if you recall, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people were going to Standing Rock to protest that damn pipeline, right? But then they rolled in the police departments, the hired security firms, and started using excessive force water when it was, you know, 20 degrees, spraying them with water and shooting them with rubber bullets. So that's excessive force, in my opinion, spraying people with water in 20 degrees is pretty savage so I'm not gonna read all this because you guys can check it out but I am gonna show a video when it's Thanksgiving time I usually just kind of brace for like ignorance they think of it as a celebration a day to give thanks but as an indigenous person it's it's the exact opposite. I had to get past the anger. I mean, any time that a young person grows up and, and realizes that they're being lied to, they're going to get a little bit angry. Around that time of Thanksgiving, it, that's when the Moshpee Wampanoag tribe were in contact with the Europeans. They're sick, they're hungry, they're starving, and So the tribe had decided to nurture them. We all know historically, after that act of kindness, you know, what really went down. They did more than take advantage. They killed the women, they killed the children, 
they killed the men. And so that's why it's not a day of thanks. It's a day of mourning. I've had some issues with uh, teachers handing out homework with like outdated Thanksgiving stories and I've had to call them out on it and they get a little bit defensive. I used to get angry about it until I realized that underneath that anger was just really deep sadness. If you don't know the true history, you're going to repeat the same things that you've done. And they're still doing this to indigenous people. Like some people say, well, why don't you just get over it? Well, you know, it's never stopped. Being a Native American means like struggle all the time in every way. The truth is what is what keeps us human and we have to admit our mistakes. And that's the only way we're going to be able to move forward. And Thanksgiving is an opportunity to do that in the United States. So not to crush anybody's holiday spirit, but we got to remember what this holiday really is. Now, as you can see here, this is a picture from Standing Rock, an elder, an elderly woman being arrested for protesting, you know, and like I said, I'll let you guys read through this. I'm not going to read through it all just because I'm trying to keep this video short. It's Thanksgiving, you know, so yeah, but Here's the uh, forces at Standing Rock that were spraying freezing water and freezing temperatures at freezing protesters over the pipeline in Standing Rock, North Dakota. You know, it's sheriff's departments, police departments, and hired security firms with the idea, you know, all of them with the being prepared to use excessive force, which they did, you know. So we got to remember that we have literally slaughtered Native Americans. We have literally slaughtered children and women and pushed people off their lands because we came here and found something that they lived on, land, you know what I mean? So just a uh, good idea to remember and realize what this day really is. So yeah, go ahead and read through this, guys. Hope everybody does enjoy their day today and um it is my lovely lady's birthday today so yeah all right y'all peace